Electric scooters have been the subject of heated discussions in the recent past and well some of them have actually been literally hot. Now one scooter that has really stood out among the crop of emerging electric scooters is the Aether 450X. <laughs> There have been a lot of uh, talks around this scooter as in the kind of time that the company put into developing this scooter and how it offers an error-free and a glitch-free riding experience. Well, those are all talks. We wanted to check whether the scooter really performs and lives up to its hype or not in the real world. So we went ahead and added one to our long-term fleet and we've been riding the scooter now for a little over two months. We have charged it numerous times. We have ridden it in all conditions we have even ridden it in the blazing heat of Delhi when the mercury was around 45 degrees Celsius and now over the next few minutes I'll tell you what is it to live like with the Aether 450X. Now this being a long-term review my focus will be primarily on the riding experience and the features but let's get design out of the way first. Of course, as far as the design is concerned, you can see the 450X is an extremely sharp looking scooter. It's got a very sharp design. It's got a lot of sharp creases running along. And as a result of that, the scooter really looks sporty. It looks dynamic. It looks futuristic. And it, of course, looks smart. Even in terms of dimensions, this scooter is just about right. It's not too bulky. It's not too small. It's just about right and it gives you the right kind of seating position as well. So in terms of comfort too, again, the scooter really ticks all the right boxes. Now talking further about practicality, you can see, well, this has a flat floor and a lot of space. So as far as practical reasons and practical usage for a scooter goes, the Aether 450X delivers well on this front. Again, popping the seat open is pretty simple with the key and it gives you access to a lot of uh, under storage space and you can easily fit in a lot of stuff here. You can also put in a helmet. It also has the usual charger here and this is the normal charging cable that you get with it. So you can use this and this just goes in here. And we'll come to charging, I'll come to that part later. But in terms of practicality and usage, well, the Aether 450X is exactly what you expect from a scooter. Compare it to any other petrol scooter and what you will expect from a scooter, this scooter also delivers the same and a bit more. Now let's talk about the features of the 450X and it gets this nice touch screen here. Of course, the touch response is pretty good and you get inbuilt navigation as well. So you can access Google Maps and put in a destination. So that just makes the overall riding a lot easier. You've got Bluetooth connectivity. You also have app connectivity. So using a smartphone, you can access a lot of functions and you can get a lot of data from the scooter right onto your mobile phone. Now, if you look at the features, you can easily, again, access a lot of them. You can also store your documents here using a mobile app. And in terms of riding mode also, again, you get multiple of them. You can see right now we have Eco Engage, but you can change to ride mode. You can also go to Sport and you can go to Warp, which gives you access to maximum acceleration, but also decreases the range. And you can see right now the range increases as we move towards lower powered modes. Also comes with park assist, which in simple word means reverse. So it's got this reverse gear. Now with the reverse engage, all you need to do is just engage the throttle gently and the scooter rolls back. So again, this is something that adds to the convenience of driving or riding in regular conditions. All right, now let's talk about the most important part about the Aether 450X and that's its riding experience. Now, as far as the battery pack is concerned, it comes with a 2.96 kilowatt hour battery of which 2.6 is usable. And of course, it comes with riding mode. So you can choose between uh, Eco or 
you can go to ride or you can again also choose sport or you can go to a warp mode which gives you maximum acceleration and in warp mode this is a very interesting scooter to ride it has great acceleration and beyond that even when you're riding in the normal ride mode it is more than enough for your daily urban runs as far as top speed goes well this will take you to about 90 kilometers an hour speedo indicated in warp mode but the scooter feels perfectly comfortable when you're doing 60 70 that you can do all day long as far as the battery is available in terms of overall riding performance i would say the aether 450x just checks all the right boxes because it gives you a good riding experience it also uh, gives you a nice sporty experience the aether is a well engineered product the aether 450x to be precise in terms of handling again the scooter offers very good handling you can go around corners pushing it and you will still have a lot of grip on offer in terms of braking also the scooter gives you very good confidence you can come to a quick and a reassuring stop so again in terms of safety also the 450x scores pretty high now with the performance discussed we also need to discuss the range and that's the most important thing with all electric vehicles and this electric scooter as well now in over two months i have charged this multiple times and the range that i have got has consistently been over 80 kilometers i've ridden this scooter throughout the summer the blazing heat in delhi even when the temperature was around 44 45 degrees celsius you can hear the fan working at its max capacity but still the scooter never dropped in terms of performance the powertrain always performed well and i am yet to see a day where the scooter went into limp mode because of the uh, batteries overheating that hasn't happened at all so the battery and motor performance is really really impressive even in this hot summer of delhi the battery has performed consistently and our range has always been in excess of 80 kilometers on a single charge coming to the charging time well on your standard plug that's your regular home socket we have been able to charge the scooter fully in about six hours then that is from almost zero so if you're charging the scooter from say about 30 40 percent you will be able to get up to uh, 80 90 percent pretty quickly in about three to four hours so in terms of charging time also the aether gives you uh, nice charging quick charging time you can just charge it overnight or sometime through the day or when you're at your office but of course it does not come with the uh, swappable batteries this is a fixed battery module you cannot take the battery out of the scooter and take it to your workstation or your living room and charge it there uh, it's a big battery and that's why it works well it's a fixed battery and in terms of charging well like i told you it works uh, decently uh, the charging time is good the range is good what could have been better now let's talk about things that could have been better in the 450x now what i would really want from the scooter to have better is of course uh, the range this has a 2.9 kilowatt hour battery 2.6 they say is usable maybe through some kind of a tweak or a software update probably i'm hoping in future aether engineers are able to extract a bit more range something a realistic range of around um, say 100 kilometers on a single charge i think would really help and uh, right now there is no problem of range anxiety with the scooter but having that figure of 100 having a range of around 100 uh, just gives you a very good cushion i know there are customers who have achieved more than 100 but in regular riding cycle wherein we have tested the scooter when you also have a pillion with you i would say about uh, 80 to 85 kilometers is what you get consistently so yes that is an area where hopefully there will be some slight update in terms of top speed um, some people say there should be more i don't see a reason why the top speed should be more it's a scooter it's not a motorcycle so it's kind of lame and stupid to ask for more top speed the scooter is not meant to be taken out on uh, expressways or highways it's not uh, meant for going touring so 
in that respect, the city uh, runs that the scooter is aimed at, this delivers well. Beyond that, if I talk about the sound, well, it's an electric vehicle, so there should not be any sound. And there isn't, there's no engine, but there is a lot of sound. And that comes from the motor. The motor on this scooter could be more silent. I hope that is something that happens because when you uh, look at some of its rivals, well, they are far more silent. So that, I think, is an area where the, there is some scope for improvement. Probably the motor could be a bit more silent. Right now, it's pretty vocal. It makes a lot of sound. But that's about it. Beyond that, I do not see any other areas where the 450X has any kind of a lacking or area for improvement. Overall, it's a great, fun to ride and a very well-engineered product. And now it's time to summarize the experience that we've had with the 450X in over two months. And in simple words, I would say it is brilliant. As far as the new breed of electric scooters go, I think the 450X is the best one out there in the Indian market right now. And it clearly shows that the kind of effort that Aether put into R&D, the time that it took in the initial years to develop the scooter all of that shows when you ride the scooter on a regular basis in over two months i am yet to face any kind of a glitch or error with the scooter everything works perfectly well never have i seen any function go haywire the battery again it performs consistently we have discharged it numerous times Although it's advice not to drain the battery completely for testing purpose, we also drained it completely down and charged it back. The scooter continues to give consistently a range of over 80 kilometers to a single charge and that too in mixed riding cycles. In terms of riding experience too, the Aether 450X delivers a very good experience. It has good amount of power so you can go up to about 90 kilometers in terms of top speed which is more than enough for a scooter and if you put it in warp mode it also has the handling to complement that acceleration so you can push it around corners you can push it around bends and it comes across as a sporty scooter so while it has all the practicality that you would expect from a scooter it also has the fun to ride experience that you would want from an electric scooter so all of that fits in perfectly into this package and as far as the prices go you can see the prices right now on the screen for the price i think the 450x offers a great set of features good practicality a brilliant riding experience and most importantly it is a well engineered product and it is a made in indian product and this shows that engineering when done correctly when done with time spent gives great results so as a result of that i'll stick out my neck and say that as far as electric scooters in india are concerned the aether 450x right now is the best bet you can get